Hey guys, you've got to get this done today. Um, all of the work that you've gotten zeros on, many of you, many, many, many of you have gotten zeros from assignments last week because you didn't bother to do any of it or either you just wrote something down. For every assignment that you made below a 60 on, you have to go back and correct it and then resubmit it. If not, your grade will stay a zero. Now this time around, let's say that you got a zero and you go back and you correct them and you make a hundred. Well, you don't get that 100. You get the 100 plus the zero that you received the first time. So 100 divided by two grades is 50. So the best that you can make is a 50. And some of you may be grounded come time for report cards or progress reports. So you've got to get busy. I know you're tired, but um, we've got to get this done. We've just got Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday left. You've got to get these assignments done. So today for math, we're looking at um, we're just continuing with um, multiplication. And so we'll start right here with guided practice. Do you understand? Mr. Harms' class sold 1,275 items at $5 per item. One of his students calculates the class raised $2,375. Is the student's calculation reasonable? So we have to look at what we've got to find. Is the student's calculation reasonable? But then you gotta explain, you can't just put yes or no. So there's two things that you gotta do here. So they sold 1,275 items, $5 per item. One of his students calculates that the class raised $2,375. So if they sold 1,275 items, and each of those items were $5, I can go ahead and tell you that this is not a reasonable calculation. And here's why. Five times five is 25. Five times seven is 35, plus two is 37, carry my three. Five times two is 10, plus three is 13, $6,375. No, it is not reasonable because if you were to round that to the nearest thousand, okay, uh, round one thousand two hundred seventy-five dollars to the nearest thousand, and then times five, that would be five thousand. Five thousand is way, way, way more than two thousand three hundred and seventy-five. All right. So, what this is how this is going to work. I'm going to work one from each part, and then you're going to work the rest of them. All right. So. Here it says for two through five, estimate the product. You've got to read your directions, guys. I have maybe one or two students in the whole class that each time they read their directions, you can't just sit down and start working a problem. You've got to see what it's saying, okay? So estimate the product. So we're gonna round uh, 125 to the nearest 100. So I look next door, that's a two, and it's between zero and four. So my one stays the same, all the other numbers to the left become zeros. So six times 100 equals 600. And then here, we would round to the nearest thousand. Look next door, that's six. It tells my two that it needs to go up to three. All numbers to the right when you're estimating become zeros, and then you do four times 3,000. You need to do four and five, and then let's look down at six. All right, so level practice for six through eight, estimate the product. So round 287, all right, so 287, we're gonna round it to the nearest 100. So we look next door, that's an eight, Eight is between four and zero, so that two becomes a three. Everything to the right becomes zero. So we round 287 to 300. Move this 300 to right here. Three times 300 is 900. Super easy. Pause this, and now you work seven and eight. After you've worked seven and eight, come back 
and then we'll do, I'll do nine for you, and then you'll do 10 and 11. So pause. Okay, so now we're looking at number nine. Estimate to check if the answer is reasonable. All right, so seven times 486 equals 3,402. So we're gonna round 486, let's round it to the nearest 100. I look next door, that is an eight. Eight is between five and nine. So that four becomes a five. So we're gonna round to the nearest 100, all right? Uh-oh, got too many zeros. So 486, we're gonna round it to 500. That's to the nearest 100. So seven times 500, seven times five is 35, and then I add my two zeros, 3,500. All right, so it says check to see if the answer is reasonable. So, yes, it is reasonable because 3,500 is extremely close to 3,402. So, yes, we would circle reasonable. Pause this now, and then you answer 10 and 11. Once you've answered 10 and 11, come back, and we will do the next page together. For number 12 and 13, it says use the graph to the right. The students voted on a school mascot. Which mascot had four times as many of the votes as the flamingo? So here is our flamingo. Now you can see that it, they're counting by 20. So here there's 20, 40. Now the flamingos is, is the green part. Now look, it's not quite at 40. I would say it's about 38, okay? So, so it, because it's not quite touching the 40, so it says, which mascot had four times as many of the votes as the flamingo? So we need to find uh, 40 times four. Well, um, 40 times, four times four is 16 and then I got to add my zero 160 so this is so easy we look right here in the manatees we see that it's right at 160 okay all right and so did we answer that question yes which mascot had four times as many votes as the flamingos number 13 you got to explain how you could estimate the number of students who voted on a mascot Okay, and then give your estimate. So the number of votes are over here on this side. These are all the number of the votes right here. So explain how you could estimate is what the first thing that you've got to do. And then you've got to give your estimate. So there are two things that you have to do here. Pause the video, finish those two things. Now for number 14, number sense. Ellie says the product of 211 and six is 1,866. So remember the product is the answer that you get when you multiply. Is this calculation reasonable? That's one thing that we have to do. The second thing that we have to do is we have to explain it. We have to do two things. So first, let's check. Six times one is six. Six times one is six. Six times two is 12. So, no, this is not reasonable. This is not reasonable because why? 1,866 is not the same as 1,266. So what she did is she miscalculated somewhere. All right, you need to do 15, 16, and 17. Once you get this done, you need to put it in the bin because when I come in, I'm going to be looking for this assignment in math. And then for math homework tonight, you need to do 3.2 the extra practice 3.2, the 
the odd numbers only because today is the 25th. You do the odd numbers only for topic 3.2. And you need to bring that in Tuesday morning.